Hey, I'm Cassidy and this is Cozy Peach Kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make a crisp and crunchy couscous salad. This salad comes together pretty quickly. Most of the time is spent waiting on the couscous to cook and prepping your vegetables. We're using bright and springy Mediterranean inspired flavors like olives and tomatoes and we're coating that salad in a delicious homemade lemon balsamic vinaigrette. As always, I do have the full recipe up on my blog, that's CozyPeachKitchen.com, and I'll leave the full link down below in the description so you can go there to check out the full ingredient list, the instructions, and more tips and tricks on how to make and customize this recipe. Cucumber adds a nice and refreshing crunch. I dice one cucumber into half inch pieces and set them aside for later. I'm using half a pint of multicolored grape tomatoes. You don't have to use multicolor, but I just thought it was kind of fun. Slice these into quarters for small pieces or just slice them in half to save on time. Red bell pepper adds a nice sweetness and more crunch. Dice this into small pieces about the size of the cherry tomatoes. Don't worry about being too uniform with your slicing. You can really make these any size that you prefer. Set it aside when you're done with it. Finally, dice half of a red onion. If you don't love raw onion, you can omit it or soak it in cold water for 10 minutes, which removes a lot of its most pungent flavors. Kalamata olives add a great pop of saltiness. I dice them really small so that they're evenly dispersed throughout the salad. But you can keep them big if you don't mind a big piece of olive in your salad. Chickpeas are the main protein source here. I always rinse them and pat them dry with a paper towel or a towel like I'm doing here, and this removes any extra water and prevents the salad from getting soggy. I cook my pearl orzo and vegetable broth for extra flavor, but water also works. I just brought this up to a boil, then reduced it to a simmer. It simmered until al dente like pasta, which takes about 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure to drain any extra liquid because once again, we do not want a soggy salad. The vinaigrette is made up of four tablespoons or a quarter cup of olive oil and four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Add a teaspoon of agave syrup or honey for a bit of sweetness and the juice from half of a lemon for a bit more acidity. Whisk everything together until it's nice and uniform and then all we have to do is put our salad together. Combine all of those ingredients that you chopped up earlier in a large bowl Pour in that vinaigrette and toss everything together. I like to use a wooden spoon and make sure that it's nice and uniformly mixed up. Add in some fresh chopped parsley and a sprinkle of feta and add a little bit of lemon juice to each serving. This adds a great pop of flavor and acidity. And that's how you make a super simple couscous salad. As you can see, someone has joined me to help with my outro. Um, Bustello is gonna do my dishes for me. He is a very sweet cat and he lo okay, he doesn't love being on camera, I guess, but thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked it. That's how I know to make more videos like this. You can leave a like if you just like seeing Bustello in the background, it's up to you. Definitely leave a comment if you plan on making this. I love hearing from you. Hit subscribe and you will get new easy vegetarian recipes to your inbox every single week. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cassidy and this is Cozy Peach Kitchen.